It is 601. Good morning to you. Welcome into the CBS 42 Morning News. I'm Mark Franklin. Lawmakers and Vice President Pence making their way back to Washington to work on several projects. Jamie's in our digital newsroom with a look at what's on the agenda this week. Jamie. Well, you mentioned that the president's tax reform proposal, but there's also another issue looming, Art, a, a possible government shutdown on Friday. And this prompted Vice President Mike Pence to return to the nation's capital. Vice President Pence cut a planned visit to Hawaii short Sunday, aiming to get to Washington as lawmakers begin negotiations on a spending bill to avert a government shutdown. Shutdown is not a desired end. It's not a tool. It's not something that we want to have. We want our priorities funded. President Trump is insisting the new budget include funding for his long-promised wall against the Mexican border, arguing Mexico would be paying in some form at a later date. I think that's a fight worth having and a conversation and a debate worth having for 2018. And if we can do some of that now, that'd be great. But we cannot shut down the government right now. Democrats in the House and Senate, as well as Republicans in the four states along the U.S.-Mexico border, remain opposed to the idea. The wall is in my view, immoral, expensive, unwise. In a tweet yesterday, the president issued a veiled threat to Democrats opposed to the proposal, saying Obamacare is in serious trouble. The Dems need big money to keep it going, otherwise it dies sooner than anyone would have thought. We uh, told the president and the Republicans weeks ago, don't try any political stunts, don't put any poison pills into this process. If no deal is reached, the government would shut down Saturday, the president's 100th day in office. Well, the White House is expected to address another Trump campaign promise this week with Wednesday announcement on tax reform. And President Trump plans to mark his 100th day in office with a rally in Pennsylvania.